Good morning, my name is Nicholas. I am gonna answer a question. I have a little bit of time before I have to go run and take care of some stuff, so I figured I'd do this really quick. Uh, so the question is, if it is okay to pass on the right, on the outside lane, if the couple ahead of this person is dancing between the first and second lane? They wanna know, is it okay to nudge them into the second lane? And I think this is a really uh, good question. It's a floor craft question. So we all, um, leaders uh, in particular, have to deal with floor craft and often uh, the people we are leading uh, have to receive the brunt of that floor craft if we you know, don't do a good job. So it's, sometimes it feels like there's a lot of pressure on us, the stakes are really high, and so we often have a lot of things like, oh, how do we do this? So if you don't know in Argentine tango, you are not supposed to pass on the left. Um, it's so like if you're going, or sorry, you're not supposed to pass on the right because you can't see. It's poor etiquette. You're supposed to do like a, like a traffic circle. You're just supposed to go kind of go round and round. And you stay in your lane. You're not supposed to weave in and out. That's that's kind of a no no. What this person asking is asking about is more of a I'm not gonna say edge case, but it certainly does happen. Um, first, I would say. Is it affecting your dancing? Like, is it keeping you from dancing well with the person you're with? And if it is, then the first thing that I would suggest is that you pick up and move across the floor. You go, you go behind another couple. I remember when I was dancing in a milonga a while ago, um, there are a lot of older people in this milonga, uh, experienced older people, and they, um, I was dancing and I had kind of a different rhythm to my dancing, a lot of pauses, and uh, it was a very crowded dance floor, and I remember after the first song of Atanda, this couple behind me just picked up and walked to the other side of the room. I was like, oh, that was weird. I danced another song, and then the couple behind me, the, a different couple, did it again, and I was like, oh, okay, this is, this is, not, this is not good. Um, so my first response would be, go ahead and pack up and move. My second question to you is, is it is it bothering your dancing because it is a, like it's keeping you from being able to focus on your dancing because their floor craft is affecting you, like it's getting into your space? Or is it affecting your dancing because it's like, they're breaking the rules up there, like what are they doing? Like, can't do that. Um, that one, the second one, that one you may want to check in on yourself about and, and figure out why, why it would bother you if somebody isn't doing like the correct thing. Uh, my third, <laughs> my third answer would be, uh, yeah, go ahead and push him into the second lane. So yes, uh, to summarize, gosh, this is long, to summarize, uh, move to a different spot, two, um, see why it bothers you, like, be introspective and understand why it bothers you, uh, and then, uh, three, go ahead and pass them, but don't touch them, don't nudge them, um, um, you know, then you're gonna get into like stereotypical Argentine tango knife fight, and you know you're gonna have to take it out in the parking lot, and it's gonna be a big deal. And then, you know, yeah, don't do that. Uh, so my name is Nicholas of Nicholas and Stephanie. Thank you so much for watching.